Shalom, shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Garkadash. The double honors unto the elders of Great Millstone. And peace and salutations unto the speckled bird and to all the Israelites, like the heathen nations. And shalom to all the brothers that's out there doing the work out on the highways and byways, pushing and exalting the names Yahweh, Wah Yahweh Shah, daily, you know, week in and week out. You know, shalom to the elect, you know, in these last days, the remnant. Um, I wanted to basically, you know, uh, do the, do a video on basically, um, you know, just hit, hit my spirit. Um, you know, how do you be born again? Because, you know, you a Jake that's coming to this truth and you don't have no understanding, you know, as far as what this, what this truth is, you know, being an Israelite and, you know, what comes with it and, you know, how do you change? You know, you used to, a lot of Jakes that got that Christianity, uh, mentality to where they have to, you know, be dunking under physical water, which it's not, that's not the way to do it, you know. I'm going to start off with the, uh, go back to the, I like this uh, photo because it looked like, you know, Jake, Jake right there, you know. <clears throat> How do you be born again? Or whosoever is born of you. Born. Here's the scripture in uh, 1 John 5 and 4. It says, For whatsoever is born of Yahweh overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. You know? It says, um, um, verse 5, it says, Who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Yahweh Shai is the son of Yahweh? You know? So, um, I want to quote the scripture from, uh, I believe it's John 15, you know, because, you know, uh, coming to this truth, you know, um, you got to throw away the old man. You, everything becomes new. You become a new creature, right? But the Lord has to raise you up. The Lord chooses you. You don't choose the Lord. You know what I'm saying? But um, you know, if the Lord puts the spirit on you to where you accept what is being brought out, you know, I'm, I'm going to put it like that. If the Lord puts the spirit on you to accept, you know, whether you're an Israelite man or an Israelite woman in this truth, you know, um, it's, you know, uh, you know, it's not it's not a physical thing, and I'm I'm gonna go through the precepts explaining that it's a it's a spiritual thing, you know. It's it's a mindset. You know you gotta have, right? Let's get this in the book of uh, what is this John three. All right, John 3, verse 3 says, Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. Right? It says, verse 4, it says, Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Right? Because, you know, you got to die, right? It says, um, Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Verse 5, it says, Yahweh shall answer, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. It says, uh, verse 6, it says, That which is born of the flesh is flesh. It says, And that which is born of the Spirit is spirit, you know. So, hey, you know, hey, this flesh is the flesh, but, you know, the Spirit, you know, that has to be, Given to you from on high, from Yahweh you know, you know the Holy Spirit that we're called Kadash, right? It says, uh, verse seven. It says, "Marvel not that I say unto thee, you must be born again," right? Because it's not, it's not a, it's not a physical thing, you know, because you can't literally be born, you know, again, <clears throat> and then. You know, that's how you enter to the kingdom. Nah. Now, we know, you know, if, you know, in this truth, we know uh, us that are seasoned and, you know, that have a little bit more knowledge. We know that two-thirds of our people, 
you know, they're going to die on this side, you know, in Jacob's trouble. And, you know, when the Lord comes back, they're going to be reborn. But that, that's a different topic. That's a more heavier topic. But this is just, you know, saying how do you, you know, be born again, you know, come into this truth. Because it's not, a, it's not a, a literal thing. You don't start your life. You don't start your physical life over. It's a mental thing. It's a, it's a mind thing, you know. Let me get this in the book of Psalms. I believe it's chapter 119 and verse 9. It says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? You see that? So, you know, that's how, you know, you are born again. That's how, you uh, you know, you get clean. You know, you got to take heed. You got to follow the ways of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, you know, with your whole heart. You can't do the same things you used to do. You know, you can't have the same traits and qualities that you had in the world. You got to throw all that away. You know? Cause let's, let me get this in uh, the book of Psalms. I believe it's um, 51, verse 5, because right, it says, um, Behold, I was shaped in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. It says, um, verse 6, it says, Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden parts thou shalt make me to know wisdom. You see that? So, and, you know, your hidden parts, what's your hidden parts, right, in your mind? It says, um, Verse 7 says, Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Right? This is not talking about um, you being born, literally, you know. Because, you you know, when you're born, you not li you don't commit no sin. You don't, you know what I'm saying? It says there's no remembrance of form former things. So, you know, when you come back, you don't remember what you did. But, you know, when it says you were born in sin, that means you were made to go off in this flesh. Right? It doesn't literally mean that when you was, as soon as you're born, you committed sin. That's, that's not what that's talking about. When you was born, you was made to be in sin. This flesh, this flesh that we are, we come down in and, you know, we come out of our mom's, you know, stomach in and stuff like that. You're going to sin. You're going, you're going to go off. That's all that means. You know? And then, you know, hey, the Lord, you know, raises you up in these last days. If you part of the elect, you know, he's going to give you that wisdom and knowledge and understanding. He's going to open up your mind. He's going to give you that understanding, and, you know, you're going to be born again. You're going to be changed. You're going to be washed. You're going to be clean, right? Um, it said, verse 7, I'm going to read that again. It says, um, Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow, right? And we just read in the um, Psalms 119 and verse 9, it says, Where would all shall let young man cleanse his way? You know, and this, this topic is about being born again. You know, because you can't be literally born again. So this is talking about a spiritual, spiritual sense. You're born again by <clears throat> taking heed according, according to what the scriptures say. You know, it says, um, I'm going to read verse, I'm going to read verse nine. It says, hide thy face from my sins and blot out all mine iniquities. Verse 10, it says, create in me a clean heart, O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. Right. So, you know, the Lord, you know, you know, like I brought out, you know, the Lord chooses you. You know, you can't choose the Lord and decide, oh, well, today I'm going to give my life over to the Lord. I'm going to give my life over to, you know, God and whatnot, you know, but you can't do that. The Lord does all those things. You know what I'm saying? The Lord does all those things. I'm going to bring out um Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 26. Right, because you go precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. It says, um, it says, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26, it says that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. You see that? So, you know, once again, you know, it's, it's a spiritual thing, you know. Because that was his flesh, his flesh, you know. It doesn't have anything to do with the spirit, you know. If you actually been, you know, if you actually been dunked in some water, 
That doesn't have anything to do with your spirit. That's what that means. I'm going to go back to it. What was that now? John 3. It says, um, it's verse 6, it says, That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. You see that? You know, you know, uh, the spirit, you know, it don't have anything to do with the flesh, man. You know, the flesh is like, you know, like the Paul said, uh, the things that uh, I want to do, I do not. The things I do not, that I do. See what I'm saying? And he said it's like a, another law warring in my mem. Like, I'm paraphrasing what it said, but like warring in my members. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it don't have anything to do with it, basically. That's basically what this is saying, you know. If you uh try to do something to your body or, you know, actually be born again in this body, it's not going to change the fact that you go off. You know what I'm saying? You're still in this flesh. So being born again, the Yahweh Shah has to put that spirit on you to be born again. And you got to take heed to his word. Right? I'm going to read... um. Verse 8, it says, The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, and whither it goeth, so is everyone that is born of the Spirit. You see that? You know? The Spirit, you know, when you had the Holy Spirit on you, man, hey, man, you know, you're going to understand certain things that the majority of our people don't understand, like these prophecies, these scriptures, you know? <clears throat> and it's gonna, you know, so it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a lot, you know, coming to you, you know. Being born again is, um, you know, like I said, it's a spiritual thing. Being born again is throwing out the old knowledge, you know, all these different religions, these other philosophies, you know, that you once knew, that you once believed in, you know. And then you gotta um start as a little baby, you know. That's why um it said that in there, you know, um. You know, you got to be born again. You got to become as a little child. I said that in another scripture, you got to become as a little child. How do you become as a little child? You got to humble yourself. You know, you got to be willing to be taught. Right? I'm going to get this in the book of, um, what book is that? Oh, yeah. First, um, Peter chapter two. I think it's verse one. Right? It says, Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings, as newborn newborn babes desire the sincere, the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. You see that? So, this is being born again, man. You gotta, this is, you know, this is a lot of things that we have, you know, in this world, you know, in Esau society. We have malice within us. We have, you know, we, we say things to people that we're not even doing. That's, that's hypocrisies. You know, you, you envy these heathen. You envy Jake. You know what I'm saying? It says, you know, and you know, Jake talk reckless, man. Evil speaking, saying certain things. You know, but being born again, you gotta throw all these throw all these traits out. You know. You know, you gotta throw all these traits out. You gotta be willing to uh. You know, relearn. You know, if you look at an actual child, you know, when when a child, you know, when you encounter a small child, they're not like this. They don't, you know, they're not hypocrites. They're not. They don't have malice. They don't have gal. For the, you know, for the most part, children they don't have. They they don't envy. All they worried about is you know, you know, playing and you know, uh, doing what they're supposed to do. And they don't speak evil. They don't do those things. You know, for the most part. You know? Right? Um, I'm going to get this in the book of, I believe it's Isaiah. Hold on. Right. This is Isaiah 28 and verse 9. It says, To whom should he teach knowledge? And to whom shall he make to understand doctrine them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast? You see that? 
It says, whom shall he teach knowledge and to whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. You see that? So you can't get this understanding. You know, like I said, first and foremost, the Lord chooses you. You don't choose the Lord. And when, you know, if the, the Lord is allowing this, this to sup with you and it to make sense to you, you know, you got to get the milk. You got to get the basics. You got to be willing to be humble. You got to be willing to uh, know that everything that you was ever taught in your whole life was a lie. But that's, you know, hey, that's that's how a child is, you know, a little small child. They don't know any better. That's how you got to act. You got, you, you know, you can't be too talkative and chit-chatty and acting like you know everything. Children aren't like that. They're willing to take heed. They're willing to listen and be corrected, you know. Right, because I'm going to go back to the scripture in uh, First John, you know. Because being born again, it's not, like I said, it's not a physical thing. It's a, it's a spiritual thing. Right? I'm going to get... Um... Salakia. I'm gonna get um First John chapter five and verse eighteen. It says, We know that whosoever is born of Yahweh sinneth not, but he that is begotten of Yahweh keepeth himself. It says, but, and that wicked one touches him not, you know? Um, so, you know, but if you born of Yahweh from Yahweh shot, right? And, you, you know, you got this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and the Lord has given it to you, you know, you still do sin, but you're not going to be, um, I mean, how do I put this? You're not going to, you know, willingly go off or do it, you know, in ignorance. Because, you, you know, we're in this flesh. We're going to go off. We're going to fall, you know? But you're not gonna be, you're not gonna do it on purpose or, you know, do it without knowing. You see, you know. <clears throat> That's what this is talking about. Right? You're not gonna willingly, you know, do it or uh, commit yourself to it. And, you know, making some type of excuse like a Christian, like, oh, well, you know, we all, we all sin, so hey, I'm going to just keep doing it. No, that's not how the Lord ordained things to be. That's not how, how he set it up, you know? That's not how he wanted it to be, you know? Being born, you know, of Yahweh Shem Yahshah, it, it requires, you know, uh, you know, a lot of things. Let me get this in the book of uh, Colossians chapter 3. And I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, If you did, if you did be risen with the Mashiach, right? If you had been awoken, with, you know, the truth says, Seek those things which are above, which are Hamashiach, sit upon the right hand of, of Yahweh. Set your affection on things above and not on things on the earth, right? How do you set your affections on things on the earth? You know? I mean, uh, not on earth, but on above, you know, your desires, you know, and your cares and your, um, your um, time and energy has to be spent on on the Lord, man. You know, it says, for you are dead and your life is here with the Mashiach and Yahweh, right? Because, right, you know, once you wake, wake into the truth and, you know, you, can, you know, the Lord has given you the, 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 uh, the Holy Spirit, you know, and you, your life has changed around. And you're born again, and you you know, you're um renewed as a new creature, you know. And you're not doing the same things you used to do. You know, you're dead to this world. You know, you're not you're not the same person you once were. Right. It says, "Uh, when Hamashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then shall you also appear with him in glory." Verse five it says, "Mortify there your members." This is uh, mortify, that word mortify means to kill. It says, therefore your members which are upon earth, fornication, uncleanliness, 
inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry, right? So this is what it means to be born again, you know? All, all these things, they have to be thrown out. They have to die, you know? You know, it says, verse 6, it says, For which things sake the wrath of Yahweh cometh upon the children of disobedience. Verse 7, it says, In which, which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them, but now ye also put off all of these, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth, and lie not one to another, and seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. You know, it says, I have put on the new man, right? Because how can you put on a new man? How can you be a new person, right? That You can't literally be a new person. You can't be born again. You see that? You can't literally be born again. It's a spiritual you got to be spiritually born in the mind. It says, have put on a new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Right? It says, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, and barbarian, Scythian, bond nor free, but Hamashach is in all and in all. You know, uh, this Greek is talking about, it's talking about Israelites, foreigners that didn't know who they were you know if any if, if any you know brother or sister is new is coming to the faith and you you know you think that you know you being an Israelite has something to do with the other nations it doesn't have anything to do with the other nations but I just wanted to clarify that and uh, make that known and have that you know be out of the way for if anybody wants to ask that question who sees this video it says verse 12 it says put on therefore as the elect of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, holy, and holy means to be set apart, and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, and humbleness of mind, meekness, and long suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as my Shai forgave you, so also do ye. Right? So, you know, these, these are all qualities that. You know that you have to have. You know, this is what somebody that you know that you would call born again, right? It's, it's not a physical act. It's not anything that has to do with the outside appearance. It ain't the way you dress. You know, it ain't what you put on. You know, it, it has nothing to do with that. It has it's everything to do with the, with the inside man. That's what the Lord cares about. You know, that's why it says. Uh, you know, he that is uh, born of Yahweh from Yahushad overcometh the world. You know, because if you're born in sin in his flesh, then how you born of, you know, Yahweh from Yahushad, it has to be a different meaning to it, you know? But um, that's all I'm going to bring out. I'm going to um, end off on that. Uh, all praises to Yahweh from Yahushad, Bashem and Kakadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. A peace of salutations unto the speckled birds, all the Israelites like the heathen nations. To you, I say Shalom, why about the ball?